Hello. Welcome. This is the MBLEX Review Course. My name is Jody Skulls, and I am your instructor uh, for the MBLEX Review Course for the Massage and Bodywork Licensing Exam Prep Course. So welcome. So glad to have you here. Today, we are talking about medical terminology, healthcare terminology. And that is a broad and wide spectrum of things uh, to cover. But we're gonna we're gonna dig down. We're gonna show you how to understand healthcare terminology. Yes, and our class is gonna be in three parts. One, the first part is a test taking strategy, giving you some information about how to approach the exam or how to approach your studying. So it's it's strategy. The second part is our learning. Yes, and we're gonna dive deep into some words today. Yes, healthcare terminology, also called medical terminology. All right, and then the third part, we are going to dissect questions. Oh, let's get in there, let's do it, yeah. So, first part of class, this strategy. I wanted to give you just some strategy over the next three weeks on what you're studying, and what we'll be doing in live class. So today we're, rest is important. And with the dates that I just gave you, I also wanna mention that rest is an essential part of your success. I've spoken with many of you, and I know you're working full time, two jobs, hustling, really just getting yourself ready to be financially successful. You're doing what you need to do now for your finances to be successful as a licensed massage therapist. Maybe you're squirreling away money. I love it. But I know you're hustling. What I don't know is how well you sleep. And some people struggle to sleep, you know. The mind just keeps working. But I want to be super clear. Rest is essential to your success. You know, research has shown that without proper rest, you can't lose weight. Right. Who knew, right? Proper rest is essential for your brain to be at its best. And so, how can you, what's one little thing you could do to improve your sleep? And that doesn't happen overnight. You know, just drinking tea at the end of the day doesn't always work. But there are little things you can do to impact your sleep. What would it feel like to leave your phone in the kitchen? Oh, Jody, I used that for my alarm clock. Okay, maybe get an alarm clock. I know. So there are little things that you can do. You can set a go to bed time. You can set a get up time. I know, it's crazy. The things that we used to be so upset about as kids now can serve us as adults. Okay, 10 o'clock, time to go to bed. Eight o'clock, time to go to bed. Depends what time you gotta get up, right? Simply, I just wanna remind you that rest is an important part of your success. And so once a quarter, we take a rest. Once a quarter, we take a Thursday off and just rest and clear our mind, and think about other things. Think about the big picture. Think about what it's going to feel like to be a licensed massage therapist. Maybe explore the jobs that are available. But we take a break from the studying to come back refreshed, to come back hungry. Yeah. And that works for me too, and for Tara. Tara and I were saying this week, we're like, oh my goodness, we're going to take a day off. How's that going to feel? I was going to say, oh, it's going to feel kind of weird, you know, but it's good. It's a healthy part 
of your studying experience. So today we are studying medical terminology. You ready? Let's do it. Healthcare terminology, also called medical terminology. Why do we care? <laughs> We're not working in a hospital. Well, maybe you will be. But why we care about healthcare terminology is because this gives us more descriptive words to communicate sometimes with clients, sometimes with colleagues, people you work with, and sometimes with doctors and nurses. It gives you another layer of language to understand a condition. And you're going to understand a bunch of different conditions after we go through today. And additionally, there's a better understanding of the conditions with, like if your client brings you a lab report, if you're looking at someone else's soap notes, maybe you work with you know, a group of therapists and uh, different people do soap notes. Better understanding of those soap notes. Also, you know, when you've got some words, you feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more professional, right? And it helps to have discussions that I call interdisciplinary, which means that people who practice different disciplines, whether it's physical therapy or yoga or um, nursing or, you know, just all these different disciplines that people do to stay healthy, it really fosters interdisciplinary discussions when you go to conferences, when you take continuing education. Yeah, it gives you that foundation of knowledge. So, and also it's gonna be on the Umblex. So we gotta study it. Here we go. <laughs> and according to ELAP, uh, our school curriculum, one of the things in ELAP that it says we need to do is that a licensed massage therapist will demonstrate knowledge of key terms and concepts related to healthcare terminology, including the ability to break down unknown words into word elements, use a medical dictionary, uh, understand positional and directional terms, body planes, movements, body regions, cavities, abdominal quadrants, and uh, on an exam. So what we're focused on today is the healthcare terminology and breaking down unknown words into word elements. And we cover that other stuff, terms, body planes, movements in navigating the body. So feel free to look that up in your online learning center. We are going to start with a medical terminology cheat sheet. And I wanted to just give a shout out. This started, the cheat sheet concept, <laughs> started with Rasmussen College. They had a medical terminology cheat sheet. And I was like, oh, we Right, we are going to take those root words that we just looked at and we're going to see what you remember. All right, ready? We're starting with derm, uh, dermato, dermato. And you don't have to put anything in the chat right now, we're just going to walk through it. It's skin, gastro. What you got? Stomach, nase, nose, rhino, but nasal passages, right? Um, also need to know. Opt, opto, ophthalmologist we talked about. Pneumo, has to do with air in the lungs. Myo. One of your favorites, muscle, cardio, touch it, good heart, artho, joints, osteo, bone, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, nephro, do you remember nephro, nephrologist, 
Nephrology, kidneys. Yeah. Mammo has to do with breasts. Mammogram, right? Testy, testo. Testosterone is produced in the testes. Now, what about this? Gluco, glyco, gluco or glyco, sugar. That's sugar in the blood. Glycogen, glucose, sugar in the blood. And then neuro, nerves, brain. Yes. Good. Came a little easier this time, right? Now, I will tell you, if these are new to you, you will need to know them. The Emblex will throw you a few of these, I am sure. Yeah, you will see these terms, these terms on the left at the start of words. So yeah, it'd be very good to familiarize yourself with these common uh, root words. Ah, I was going to say, I think that's the end of our medical terminology. Woo! Woo! Time to dissect some questions. There is a lot of words running around your head right now. Be careful. Be very careful. The, we have, I think, almost 10 questions to go through. I think it's nine or 10 questions today. I've, I'm up in the ante on the questions because y'all love dissecting questions. However, I will tell you, I have made some of these questions medieval, meaning very difficult, challenging. The answers are tricky. Be careful. So as we go into the questions, let me remind you to please hold off on sending your answers. Yes. So I'm going to read through the question. I'm going to read through the answers. The reason we do this is because we have all kinds of learners out there, all kinds of graduates. We have some visual impaired graduates. We have some English as a second language graduates, and everybody reads at a different speed. This is to your advantage, you speed readers. <laughs> Those of you who finish uh, the practice exams in under an hour. Nah, 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 nah. Really need to take those practice exams in about an hour and a half. When you go too fast, it's very easy to make mistakes. So how we do our questions is I read through the question, I read through the answers, and then I say, three, two, one, go. And that's when you put your answers in the chat. That way we all have a chance to read the question and to process the answers. Faster doesn't mean better. In fact, faster sometimes mean more likely to make a mistake. So be careful. All right, you've been warned. What are the key parts of understanding healthcare terminology? A, excuse me, let me read that again. What are the key parts of understanding healthcare terminology? A, root, prefix, suffix. B, sounding it out. C, pronouncing the word correctly to other healthcare professionals. D, the beginning, middle, and end of the word. What are the key parts of understanding healthcare terminology? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it the root, prefix, and suffix? Sounding it out? Pronouncing the word correctly to other healthcare professionals? Beginning, middle, and end of the word. Okay, three, two, one, Go. Okay, let's take a look here. Mm. Very nice, Julia. Good, Diane, yes. Dantasia, got it. Lance, good. Leck, yep. Good, Ms. V. Patitia, yes. Shasta, yeah. Rachel, you got it. Dorea, uh-huh. Carrie, good. 
Brenda, nice. Patricia, nice. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's get rid of one wrong answer. Sounding it out doesn't matter. And best answer, boom. What we've been talking about. The root, the prefix, and the suffix. Given that your word has is a medical, you know, is a medical term, because we've got healthcare terminology and medical terminology, they sometimes get called the same thing. Um, but given that your terminology has, it's long and it has those things, that's the best way to figure it out. Next question. <laughs> Woo, marathon questions. So the reason we study healthcare terminology is because it gives us a certain level of professionalism. It gives us a certain level of confidence. And look, you saw me crash through urology and, and urologist today. We don't always get it right. And so being willing to investigate, being willing to get more details is a foundation of knowledge that you will need to be uh, to be successful in uh, on the MBLEX. So some of understanding how to understand these words and the conditions and how it might affect your session is how it shows up on the MBLEX. So for now, I'm going to say, see you later for the recording. Uh, I'm going to hang out with these peeps right here, answer some more questions because there's plenty coming in the chat. Uh, and so I wanted to just remind you my name is Jody Skulls. I'm your instructor for the MLEX review course. Happy to be with you here each week in our live classroom. So see you again real soon.